We have some breaking news coming in. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar speaks on the Bangladesh unrest. Vice President Dhankar slams the Congress over comments by some of its leaders. He says attempts to infuse a certain narrative and also says narrative suggesting potential unrest in India. Vice President Dhankar urges citizens to be vigilant. Take a listen. How can a citizen of this country, having been in parliament, one belonging to distinguished legal fraternity, the other seen enough of Indian Foreign Service, both had the occasion to hold positions of critical consequence in governance as ministers. Take no time in saying what happened in neighborhood will happen in India. Bangladesh continues to remain on the edge. Minorities, majorly Hindus, are being attacked in Bangladesh. Thousands of Bangladeshi Hindus are protesting in Dhaka against atrocities coming their way since the fall of Asina government. Hindus in Bangladesh have faced over 200 attack incidents and are rushing towards in Indo-Bangladesh border to seek refuge. Bangladesh interim government leader Mohammad Yunus on Saturday condemned attacks on the minorities in the violence-hit nation. He urged the citizens to protect the, Hinduism, the Hindus, Christians and Buddhists in the country. Meanwhile, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath expressed distress over the situation of Hindus in Bangladesh and said we must raise our voice against it. जो बांग्लादेश में हो रहा है, जो चर्चाएं हो रही थी अभी, वहाँ 90 फीसदी जो हिंदू बचा है, वह दलित समुदाय से है। और मैं इसलिए कहना चाहूँगा कि जो सबके मुंह सिले हुए हैं। इसलिए सिले हुए हैं क्योंकि इनके मालूम है कि बांग्लादेश को हिंदू उनका वोटर नहीं होगा वह हिंदू है यह हो सकता है उसकी गलती हो लेकिन हम उसको गलती नहीं मानते हम उसको मानते हैं उसका सौभाग्य है कि वह हिंदू है और उसकी रक्षा करना हम सबका दायित्व है प्रभु जी यू नो द फर्स्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लास्ट फ्यू डेज दैट बीइंग वन ऑफ you know, the supreme leader from the SCON and also from the Hindu community. How the last few days have been for you? Actually, the last few days back, this is all Hindu communities afraid. They are thinking any time can attack, any time can happen something. This temple, also house, also business center, any time can. Because uh, already, uh, already so many uh, so many uh, Hindu shop, Hindu house, also um, Amlik, leaders house, they burned out. And then that's why everybody is afraid. Hindus are being attacked and violence hit Bangladesh as the new interim government takes shape. Thousands of Bangladeshi Hindus are protesting in Dhaka against the atrocities on them. India Today is the only channel reporting from the epicenter of violence, Dhaka. My colleague Ashutosh Mishra brings you this exclu exclusive report from Bangladesh. Take a look. This is one of the local market uh, of Dhaka as I'm visiting. Uh, what makes it very uh, surprising uh, that there is zero presence of the local police forces or even the traffic forces who, could, uh, who are possibly here to ensure the law and order. And that have been replaced by the armed forces, uh, the army. This is a, virtually the army has... Uh, taking over the law and order situation as gradually I move in the local area where and uh, on the usual days the people who have been saying that usually these areas are extremely crowded but now the footfall has reduced and also very importantly uh, the police has been replaced by the army. The locals have zero faith and trust on the policemen and also because of uh, the heavy heavy power used by the police force during the protest on the streets, uh, right after Sheikh Hasina fled the country, most of the policemen, the senior officials, the local policemen also disappeared, fearing to their life as uh, several policemen were also targeted across uh, Bangladesh, not just only in the capital city, Dhaka. And now what you see, the situation to maintain the law and order, now only and only, army is the only hope in coordination with the local scout groups, the Bangladesh scouts and the other uh, cadet corps, these personals are on the road managing the situation 
whatever it looks like only with the help of army there is zero presence of a police force in the capital city dhaka at ground zero in dhaka this is ashutosh mishra for india today for last at least uh, 48 hours uh, not major reports are coming uh, with regards to the atrocities and the violence on the hindu minority but it all has happened already in the first 72 hours uh, when the violence broke out uh, when the police started uh, charging uh, and there was literally you know a uh, violence all over the escalation between the government forces uh, and the pro uh, you know the protesting uh, students civil society members all others but in you know uh, one side there was a protest happening and the other side the miscreants and the extremist group of Bangladesh they started targeting the minorities so more than 27 districts where the temples were attacked uh, the properties of uh, Hindu minorities were targeted the people were targeted and in fact since morning as I've been speaking let's also get you one live images from Dhaka India today is reporting from ground zero this will explain you the furious situation of the capital city Dhaka virtually if I say this is one country perhaps across the globe there is virtually no existence of a police force yes not a single police personnel I can find out on these streets all you see these people are managing the situation you see the law and order you see the traffic they all are volunteers the college students uh, uh, the scouts uh, the BMCC and all the uh, such uh, uh, groups and remember they were one who started the protest against the Sheikh, Sheikh Hasina government and all of a sudden when it all you know turned literally volatile uh, violent uh, protest when police started firing upon that turned situation extremely vulnerable and well, that was the only opportunity now the other side you see all these you know the students civil society members they all are camping literally at different points uh, managing the different situation but all of a sudden when the miscreants started attacking those minorities that made things uh, leery but at the same time those who are guarding now the city have been also saying that ever since we started seeing SOS call from them we started protecting their temple we started protecting the minority but eventually those attacks did happen the people did affect and that was a huge number if I say 27 districts of this country was a smaller country it really makes a huge and also yesterday there was a massive protest 